Hold on. Another rant cast short. Again, this is exclusive content. Uh, if you notice, Premier Pro Wrestling's Rancast, we're serving it to you on YouTube without YouTube ads. Our hope is that you guys know it, appreciate the content so much that you go to our revenue streams to help support us. The first and foremost, Premier Pro Wrestling on uh, Patreon. Another streaming service is Premier Pro Wrestling on Pivot Share, And our merchandise, Premier Pro Wrestling on Pro Wrestling Tees. I'm with Casey James. I'm old Rockin' Randy, and some of you guys listening already know the backgrounds to us. Some of you don't, but we're trying to provide exclusive content and valuable content from our memory banks and our experiences because we're both, like, beyond well-traveled by today's standards. So what Casey's going to do right now is let you know how he ended up dining with the American Dream and Tommy Lasorda. Absolutely, Randy. So, as we talked about before, uh, I was working dusty roads a lot th- through d- a lot of different towns in Alabama. Um, just a uh, quick r- recap was USA Championship Wrestling, Burt Prentice had opened television down in Alabama. He was exploring a lot of different towns in a new market. He was bringing Dusty in. Dusty needed a heel to work with. I was the man. I was the guy that Bert had picked. So I'm wrestling Dusty through all these different towns in Alabama. And uh, I'm, usually he'd make a double shot out of it. Friday night would be in Alabama, and then Bert would bring him down to Nashville. Um, or excuse me, up to Nashville for Saturday night. So this is probably, once again, maybe the fourth or fifth, probably the fifth or sixth time I worked Dusty, a different town in Alabama. And um, after the match, um, this wasn't a separate locker room situation. Actually, I was, you know, beginning to build a friendship with Dusty. Mm-hmm. And uh, Dusty asked me, hey, Cadillac, do you want to ride with me back down to Nashville? I'm meeting up with Tommy Lasorda at the Nashville Palace. I'm like, holy shit. I just want to <laughs> ride with Dusty. And yeah. then you're telling me at the end of this two and a half hour car ride, that I'm going to get to hang out with Tommy Lasorda and drink beer with Tommy Lasorda and Dusty Rhodes? <laughs> yeah. No, oh, no. Sorry, Dream. I got to fucking wax my ass crack. I can't make it. <laughs> Hell yes. So, you know, I just rode with the Dream, and we talked, you know, wrestling and business. I asked him questions about, you know, just wanting to hear stories about AWA and, you know, Dick Murdoch. And, sure. You know, the Crockett's and Florida. Bruiser, you know, I just, Bruiser come up. What's that? Did Dick the Bruiser come up? I don't. I, I know. I'm kidding, I'm yeah, kidding. Oh, I don't. I don't quite remember. Oh, I'm uh, nothing. Nothing notable. I'm but um, oh, I mean, geez, you know, I sure it did because I was such a mark for for um, Murdoch and Dusty against Bruiser and Crusher. I mean, dude, those are some of the best. Even today, they hold up some of the best tag matches yeah. you ever want to see, and it's all because of the way Dusty and Dick flew around the ring. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah. Holy shit, dude. It's, yeah. it's so seamless. It's so good. Yes. Watch it. So, you know, then we, man, dude, I couldn't believe it. I mean, like I said, I, you know, I got a little, got a little, had a few cocktails, a few adult beverages, you know, at the, you know, the National Palace, which is a, you know, have you ever been there, Randy, the National Palace? No, it's kind of down by, Op, down by Opryland. Okay. And, I know uh, where and, it is. How do you mention it? Yeah. I mean, fuck, Dusty and Tommy just sat around and, Shot the shit, and I just kind of sat there and kept my mouth shut. You know, I was just listening. You know, um, but it were was people, super cool. Uh, were people coming up to you guys or coming up to Dusty? You know what? Me? No, no, actually, not no, not really. Every it okay. was kind of yeah, it's a dark place. It's yeah. not like it. There's live music there, so it's kind of you know we just kind of hung out in the back and um, man, you know, it was just really cool. Like I said again, I was twenty twenty one. And there I am at the National Palace, sit, hanging out, having beers with Tommy Lasorda and Dusty Rhodes. And um, I just remember Tommy Lasorda told this story about, I don't know the ball player, Randy. Let's not go down that rabbit hole. I'm never going to remember. But he had, he had, he told me that this guy, and <laughs> would he take, you know, if you were the manager of the locker room, this guy on his dick had two letters initialed on his <laughs> On his dick, and he, Tommy thought that it was um, just the uh, his initials. 
But when the thing, you know, when he the guy would get aroused, his entire name would show up. <laughs> oh, my God. So he was definitely a grower, not a shower. But he said it was only two letters that you could see. And then when he got the thing worked up, there was an entire name like Alejandro Estrada. <laughs> 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 so it was stories like that. And what was cool was was Tommy actually, he asked me for my number or address. And like a week later, he sent me an L.A. Dodgers hat and his business card. You still have it, right? Uh, I had the hat somewhere. The business card is somewhere. I don't remember. But he sent me a business card with his number and an L.A. Dodgers hat. You know, I'm like, yeah, right. Uh, you know, time is sorted. Because he was still working in the office, you sure. know, at the, for the Dodgers at the time. Yeah. So that was just a short, super cool. I mean, you know, I've had a lot of great life experiences. I look back at that fondly. Just, you know, Who hanging out with. Tommy Lasorda and the American Dream Dusty Rhodes. Holy shit, right? Who wouldn't? Uh, how, yeah. did Tommy and, uh, how did Tommy and Dusty become friends? You know what? That's a good question. I don't know. But, I mean, dude, two guys that were in the spotlight through the 80s, two of yeah. argu- arguably the biggest names in sports and entertainment, Tommy Lasorda and Dusty Rhodes. Oh, I mean, dude, Dusty knew, Dusty knew everybody, man. Dusty yeah. was that over. Dusty knew everybody. There wasn't a guy, dude, a celebrity, country music singers, dude, anybody, actors, Dusty knew him, man. Dusty was the real deal, dude. Dusty was the real deal. Yeah, yeah man. It's, he's, he was no bullshit. A lot of guys pretend to be or want to be. Dude, Dusty Rhodes was the man. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Again, this is content that you're not going to get anywhere else because I don't remember Dusty taking anyone else to hang out with Tommy fucking Lasorda. Thanks for listening. Like and subscribe.